deoxyribonucleic acid. You need that replicated so, so rapid because what that is is your DNA. If you don't have that coming away, you better pray because you ain't here to stay. You going away. DNA stores your genetic information. You need that for DNA replication, but I'll talk about that later when I get into that station. Nucleic acid is the polymer nucleotide. Come on, man. The side actually a polynucleotide. You need them by your side. If you didn't have them, you have already have died. So right now, let's talk about the nucleotide. It's made up of three things. Keep them close. A phosphate nitrogen base and deoxyribose. It's a sugar molecule just like glucose, but it's got a five carbon dose. Don't call it fructose or I'll say adios. What makes you you? It's a nitrogenous basis. It's what makes people have such distinct faces. Adenine, thymine, cytosine, guanine. All these combines are what makes up your genes. It can only bind with TNC, can only bind with G. That's just the way it has to be because they're base pairs, as you can see. Hydrogen bonded, making them unfree. A and T of two, while C and G of three. DNA is a double helix, not a single strand, so it needs support to help it stand. Sugars and phosphate lend a helping hand, so no DNA strand is left alone. They form the twin backbone. These backbones, each in their own section, face in opposite direction. One starts at the sugar fifth carbon, while the other at the third, because because it's way preferred. 5 prime, 2, 3 prime, or 3 prime, 2, 5 prime. All depends on the side of the enzyme. It's a simple paradigm. Let's get back to DNA replication. Listen up with complete concentration. Happens in the S phase of interface, but it needs an enzyme called helicase. Unwinding the helix like untying a shoelace. Breaking the hundred bonds between the pages like a pitchfork. Leaving behind what we call a replication fork. Where the splitting starts and the DNA starts to disband, which has a top and bottom strand. Called lagging and leading, which is needed for the replication to continue proceeding. There's an enzyme called DNA polymerase, as methane nucleotides down the strand at its own pace. But it can't start without a primer provided by RNA primase, which it uses as a base so it can start to build all the empty base pairs which will not start to be filled. This is only for the leading where it is most skilled, because 5' prime to 3' prime it can only build. When it comes to the lagging strand, we can have an incident. Since 3' prime to 5' prime, the polymerase cannot augment. It must be done in a different segment. So multiple primers must be present for the polymer race to build up backwards on occasions very frequent. We call these parts the Okazaki fragments. Then a new polymer is replaced with the RNA primers doing its job 100%. Finally, an enzyme called DNA ligase comes to inspect, making sure all fragments are sealed and connects, making sure nothing goes unchecked, repairing everything, making it perfect. The DNA is now replicated and going to effect. Yeah. The DNA is now replicating going to effect. Done.